Hi, I'm Tom Domney, Dublin Wood Nelson Company. We're a full service wholesaler specializing in plumbing, irrigation, and industrial products. We are committed to building long-term relationships with our customers by earning your business every day. With a staff that collectively offers more than 50 years of expertise, our team knows your industry. We're able to answer your questions and are ready to help you get the parts and equipment you need. At Dublin Wood Nelson, our goal is long-term success of your business. We achieve that goal with a simple commitment, doing things right one customer at a time. Our showroom is complete with the latest styles and fixtures. Stop by and see us at 507 Airport Road or give us a call at 478-272-3585 That's Dublin Wood Nelson. Welcome fans, it's time for Friday Night Football. And now, from Farmer State Bank, Ben Knight. Ben Knight, what do you got for us? Ron, we have a ton of excitement tonight, dedication, and a commitment to excellence. Come be a part of our team at Farmer State Bank and join us on Friday night as we celebrate the Crusaders, the Fighting Irish, the Falcons, and the Raiders. And remember, it's as easy as FSB. Equal Housing Lender, member FDIC. I'm Glenn Register at Hometown Supply. Want to wish all our area schools the very best in the upcoming season. Hometown Supply, located in downtown Dublin, is here for all your home and hardware needs. We offer new and used appliances, both gas and electric. Competitive prices on electronics and computers, including cell phones, laptops, and tablets. We have service people on staff, a repairman for our appliances, and a computer technician for our electronics. Come by and see how we can help. Just remember, if you can't do business here, you just can't do business. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the East Lawrence Falcons Coaches Show. I'm your host, Scott Davenport, and as always, it's my pleasure to be here with Coach Turner. Yes, sir. Now, uh, Coach, we've had uh, an off day early. Well, and you know what I mean. Uh, not really an off day, but, you know, uh, a bye week early mm -hmm. in the season. Uh, and that gives you a chance to take stock of what happened, you know, the mm -hmm. scrimmage, first game. Uh, correct things. How, how did the guys respond to uh, that extra time and extra work? Well, they, they, you know, they responded well. We've really been focusing on discipline stuff, and uh, we still got a ways to go, um, but we're getting there. Uh, you know, we've had to install some extra punishment for our, for our kids because they just they got to learn, you know, to do right all the time, and that's something that's in in progress. Um, so, you know, that was one of the big things we focused on. And, of course, I mean, there was a lot of football involved as well. Um, but we got a lot of work done. Uh, and it, it, we got lucky that it ended up being off week because they moved our game to Thursday. And since it was moved to Thursday, we were going to lose a day, but we'd already gotten three extra days in for our opponent. So kind of worked out. Well, you, you just mentioned that, you know, moving the game to Thursday. I'm sure that has to do with officials. It does. And, uh, you know, if folks don't know, because I've had people, you know, look at me kind of puzzled. Why a Thursday game? It's not anything other than uh, lack of officials. Uh, you've got, you know, so many games and a certain number of folks uh, to do those games. So if you look at schedules, uh, like going on uh, GPB or, you know, Atlanta, you'll see teams a lot more Thursday games and Saturday games just trying to make up uh, for the lack of officials. Plus, you've got, you know, softball season, and a lot of those officials do multiple sports. And so, you know, it's just a, a big uh mess, so to speak, you know, trying to get everything covered. It is. Everybody's being forced to either play on a third, at least one game on a Thursday or a Saturday. It's just, um, I mean, it's Major what we got to deal with. Yeah. Um, you know, it's one of those things where, you know, if you, if you were out there and you were thinking about it, it might not do any good for this season, but for next season, you know, uh, become an official. Uh, of course, you know, 
that that brings its own share of headaches with uh, you know stuff <laughs> uh, that they have to deal with. Yeah. Um, well, I mean that's part of the reason that you're having an official shortage. I mean all the mess that they've got to put up with. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, it, it 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 makes it where it's harder and harder to get them out there. Uh, you've got a lot of them that are out there just because they love to do it still, but uh, yeah. you know they they have to deal with a lot of headaches and well, you know people. We need to all, <laughs> from, all understand from, that as coaches, as from players, coaches, from and fans, fans, everybody. Yeah, uh, you know that's one of those things where. You know, if you do a good job, no one notices you. But as soon as you make a mistake, my gosh, it's like the, the weight of the world comes down on you. Uh, I, I wouldn't want to do it. Yeah. Uh, and uh, uh, I've talked to, you know, a few coaches that have done it, you know, like when they were in college. Oh, I'll, you know, ref, you know, a season or two. And, you know, just like you said, from the love for the love of the game and, uh you know, talk about how thankless a job uh, that is. You know, it's a, it's, it's a different breed of cat that can get out there and, and, and do that. Yeah. You may see on Thursdays for JV games, it go back to like it was in old school where wherever you're playing the game match, you'll have a coaching staff calling the game because it's just, like I said, everybody's so shorthanded. Right. Uh, well, uh, middle schools had a couple. Now, they were they were – the ones that I saw were scrimmages. I don't know if they're having to do that for games, too. But, uh, you know, that people will look at that and go, well, why didn't they have? There aren't any available. Mm -hmm. You know, they're, they're, you know, employed elsewhere, yeah. you know, or they're just the numbers aren't there. Now, um, uh, the uh, game coming up, you know, against Jenkins County, uh, you know, you mentioned the players and having to, you know, install a little extra uh, discipline. But uh, other than that, uh, are they, uh, you know, do you see improvement? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, we've been crisp. I, I wish we'd get a break in the weather a little bit. Uh, it's, you know, last week was nice. This week it decided to get extremely hot and there's a lot, been a lot of water or rain involved and, you know, it, we've been having those showers that'll come out and, and wet it, and then the sun comes out, so it feels like so it's a million degrees. So. Yeah. Uh, and also, y'all have uh, had to coordinate with uh, the band and with uh, middle school also for use, of the, for use of the field, you know, and having to juggle around, okay, we're here today, we're there tomorrow, we'll be back here you know, the day after, and th that that's another thing. You know? oh, we got all that worked out, though. We're good to go. Uh, you know, it's, it, I mean, it just took a little coordination. Well, I didn't, I, did, I, I didn't mean that yeah. as a negative. It's just something, you know, you, you mentioned this before, and, and every single coach that has done the co uh, coaches show has mentioned it in one way or another that football players and the coaching staff, y'all are creatures of habit. You oh, yeah. get into a routine, and if something messes up that routine, it seems to just throw a monkey wrench in the whole thing. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like Labor Day being a day to labor, you know, it's <laughs> it, it changes things up when we're not in school. So, yeah. you know, our seniors want to go at 8 o'clock in the morning, uh, you know, get it over with where they can have the whole day. Uh, you know, it's just every time there's a change – there's something, but it doesn't matter what time you do it on Monday because you're not going to have school, so it, it's still, yeah, you know, it is what it is. Yeah, I, well, I can understand it from a temperature standpoint where that early in the morning might be kind of nice, yeah. you know, or nicer. Yeah. I, yeah. Well, well, hopefully those temperatures are going to drop soon. <laughs> yeah, uh, well, you know, being middle Georgia, you never know. Mm. Uh, might be 80 in December, you know. Uh, well, folks, we're up against a break. We've got, you know, plenty of sponsors that help make this show possible. Please honor them with your business. Make the world go away And get it off my shoulders Say the things you used to say And make the world. 
There's a Can-Am waiting for you at Myers Equipment and Supply, 301 North Jefferson in Dublin. You feel most alive where you feel most at home. And this, this is living. Bobcat, the company that changed the way the world works, is coming home with a quality compact tractor built to match your quality of life. This isn't work you have to do, it's work you get to do. So get it done in a tractor that's all you. See your dealer or visit bobcat.com. Cullen Supply and Engine Service, 910 East Jackson Street in Dublin and 826 South Harris, Sandersville. It's that time of year when we come together to support our team. And our team here at Dublin Chevy Buick GMC is here to support you. Down here at Dublin Chevrolet where we're putting dreams in driveways. Go! Let's get out there! Go! Whether it's helping you with your next purchase or just servicing your current vehicle. Yes, Miss Thomas, we've got your traverse book for next week. North and South! Get that quick, get that And remember, support your local team. You know the rest. I'm Heath Richter, and uh, we just uh, want to invite everybody to come on down to uh, the Houston Clinic and check us out at our new facility. Uh, we've been in Dublin for a while now, obviously, but uh, have, uh, have a new office here, and we'd just like you to come down and see some of the new stuff we're offering. And uh, if you need to get checked out, we'd be glad to do that for you. We've got uh, able to do some ultrasound guided injections now and um, physical therapy and just a little bit better space, so hopefully we can get you in and out of here a little bit quicker. Come by and see us today at our brand new location, the Houston Clinic Medical Drive in Dublin. And we're back with the East Lawrence Falcons Coaches Show. Now, Coach, you know, one of the things that we touched on last week was that uh, y'all's numbers mm -hmm. are way up uh, this year. I think I counted over or close to 60. Oh, we've, got a, we've got over 60 yeah, on the roster on the right roster. now. And uh, that's a great thing. That's a great thing because, uh, you know, it, it helps, you know, get more people in rotation, you know, uh, keeps the players fresher throughout the game. I know a lot of them are, are young guys also, but uh, uh, why don't you talk a little bit about uh, JV and how uh, that those big numbers, you know, hopefully are going to mean, you know, a, a bigger JV uh, well, I mean, that, that, that's really what it does mean is a bigger JV team because when you, when you look at a football team, you can talk to any coach uh, in the state of Georgia, now, especially in lower classification. Now, you get into bigger classifications, it's yeah, different. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, you want to try to find 18 guys that can play. Mm -hmm. All right? And when you find those 18 guys that can play, those are really, if you look at it, the 18 that are playing on a Friday night. Yeah. All right. You know, the rest of the numbers are you go into your JV and, and stuff like that. And, um, you know, so, yes, when you have bigger numbers, your JV squad will grow. Now, anytime you can go above that 18 that can play, you know, you're, you're really you're rocking and rolling, especially in the lower classes. Uh, but, you know, it's, it, that's, that's tough to do to have that many varsity-ready ready people uh, and if you look at it that's why we have a lot of skill that goes both ways we have linemen that goes both ways I uh, so if you look at the numbers that we actually play on a on a Friday that plays offense and defense uh, you probably are around that 18 mark um, I don't know we may we may be playing around 20 right now but it, it's you know you won't Hopefully, the way the program is growing, we'll have more and more added to that number that's playing on a Friday. Mm -hmm. uh, and this young class we got is going to be re this uh, freshman class is going to be really good. They're really intelligent. They're really big and strong. Um, so they're really going to help, you know, move in that direction. Uh, right now, I think we've got 61 or 62. Mm -hmm. um, you know, that's. Part of the thing, as long as we do right, we'll stay around 61, 62. If, they, um, if a couple of things aren't fixed, then you're going to see my numbers um, drop a little bit. Uh, you know, you never, want to, you never want to have to cut kids, but if, uh, you know, it, 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 it's just part of it. And if you can't get on board doing things right, then you're going to have to, you're going to, have to thin the herd to make yeah. you stronger. So. Uh, 
you know, you, you mentioned that upper classifications. Heck, you know, they, they're they specializing on Friday. You know, mm-hmm. no, very few, if, if any, will go both ways. Yeah. Maybe a skill guy here or there. Uh, they've got their full complement of JV players, mm-hmm. uh, a ninth grade team, mm-hmm. you know, uh, and, and they don't have near the headache that, you know, y'all in the lower class. Now, they got a different set of headaches, mm-hmm. don't get me wrong, but, you know, those in the lower classifications, you know, it's uh, – y'all are earning your money yeah. <laughs> uh, with uh, the things you have to deal with in with much lower numbers because, mm-hmm. you know, it, it's just impossible yeah. for uh, players to maintain – level of energy late in the game when you're playing, you know, some of them special, t- they don't come off the field, no. you know, and, uh, you know, it's, uh, uh, it's nothing, well, un- unless you have to, like you mentioned, thin the herd a little bit, but mm-hmm. uh, uh, there are very few things other than that that, you know, aren't going to be positives of having more players. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, you get these guys ready for, uh, Friday, and I think a lot of people don't realize that that's the job of, you know, the JV team. You know, a lot of times, you know, you'll see teams sneak, well, not sneak in, but play varsity players, mm-hmm. you know, for the maximum amount of minutes that they can just to get a JV win. Well, that's not helping your team in the long run because you got to have those JV guys getting in there, getting reps, getting ready for Friday night. Yep. All right. Uh, Now, you know, you mentioned the freshman class. Uh, How many freshmen, roughly, uh, do you you have? Uh, I think it's somewhere around 16, 17. Yeah. That's not a bad influence. I had, um, you know, JV kids allow – to come out, I will allow them to come out late. So we added some freshmen. Uh, we may even be up to 18 in that class. I, I'd, I'd have to look. I, I know that it's, I know that it, that and our sophomore class are our biggest classes. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, and then our, our senior class, our smallest class. So, but. and that usually is the way it works. You know, uh, you mm-hmm. know, you have them decide. Well, I, I just don't want to do this anymore, or. Uh, you know, other things, you know, maybe grade trouble or discipline. Well, really, I can't think of anybody. I'm trying to think of any seniors that played a whole year and, and aren't playing now. We added some. Oh, well, it was that's just awesome. It was just a smaller class. Class as a whole. Yeah. Okay. I mean, right. We had one with, I mean, he's still with us, but, I mean, he ain't going to be to play, and that's Tristan, so. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Well, folks, we're up against another break. Again, honor these folks, these businesses that make this show possible. You've got miles and miles of grass to mow. So you're going to need a machine built to perform day in and day out, season after season. You're going to need a gravely built to mow the distance. Find your new Gravely mower at Myers Equipment and Supply, 301 North Jefferson in Dublin. Hey, I'm Sam with AutoMax, your local repair shop. We're family owned and operated. Our mechanics are ASE certified, 100% satisfaction guaranteed service. We service all makes and models, foreign and domestic. So come see it at AutoMax, your complete auto repair. We also offer certified auto repairs, mufflers, brakes, engine repairs, diagnostic struts, suspensions, and a whole lot more. Come see us at AutoMax, 707 Kellum Road, Dublin, Georgia, or call us at 606-6868. We're open Monday through Friday, 8 to 5. And now, the starting lineup for the number one realty company in Dublin and Lawrence County, Century 21. Brian Howell, Charlene Lamb, Adam White, David Deves, Jennifer Bradley, Jay Brantley, Jim Jarrett, Ruth Watson, Charlene Bratley, Raina Doverly, Yvonne Robertson, and broker George Durden. 
Count on the winning team to help you score every time. For more information, log on to C21Dublin.com or call us at 478-272-1535. The winning team, Century 21, Durden Cornegay. Call Mr. Appliance for our speedy expert service. Are your appliances not performing correctly? Call 309-5960. Mr. Appliance of Dublin is your go-to company for dependable quality appliance service. Our experts are committed to delivering exceptional results in a timely manner, whether you need repairs, replacement parts, or general maintenance. Technicians are available on your schedule and always provide courteous, respectful, and quality work every time. Our technicians always explain and ensure understanding so you'll never encounter surprise fees. Trust Mr. Appliance for residential and commercial repair, service, and maintenance. Call 309-5960. That's 309-5960. 309-5960. Serving Dublin and the surrounding area, Mr. Appliance and Speedy Expert Service, a locally owned and operated franchise. Allen's Heating and Cooling is your licensed Amana equipment dealer. Trust Allen's Heating and Cooling to install and service your heating and cooling unit. Allen services all brands and with the purchase of a new Amana, offers a lifetime compressor warranty. Call Sean Clark or any of his friendly staff at Allen's Heating and Cooling. Your Amana dealer. Amana lasts and lasts and lasts. And we're back with the East Lawrence Falcons Coaches Show. Now, Coach, uh, Got Jenkins County mm -hmm. coming up this weekend. Uh, last weekend, they faced another opponent of ours, mm -hmm. uh, Johnson County. Johnson County uh, prevailed. But, you know, this Jenkins County team, it's one of those things where they've always had, you know, one or two skill guys, you know, one or two big guys. And, uh, you know, they've always been a fairly well-coached team, too. Uh, Going to be a tough opponent. What are the things that you see when looking at Jenkins County? Well, um, Coach Waters has been around a long time, and this is actually his third time being the head coach at Jenkins County. Uh, he came out of retirement to kind of clean things up, and, you know, he, he's a heck of a football coach. And, mm -hmm. you know, they have – they have they have more than one or two skill players. They yeah. have skill players abound. Uh, you know they're not the biggest football team, but they're very fast and they get after it. Defensively, uh, you know they don't smash you off the ball, but they get to the football and all eleven run to the football and make plays. So you know they're I mean they're tough. They're you know they're a hard nosed team. Uh, they run the you know they run the triple on offense. Uh, Georgia Southern Flexbone, their quarterback is an incredible athlete. They've got a big bruising fullback that's about 215 pounds, uh, and both of their slots can take it to the house. Um, you know, I think he's doing a great job with them. They, you know, that 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 um, Johnson County game was a good football game to watch. Mm -hmm. You know, they they had it was seven six coming out of a uh, weather break on Friday. And Johnson County hit a hit a couple of hit a couple of passes for touchdowns. And yeah, I said Johnson County hit passes for touchdowns, and uh, and then punched another one in late. And and Jenkins got stopped on the one inch line mm -hmm. um, on a third down, and then jumped on fourth down. So they didn't score on that. They tried to kick a field goal. <clears throat> it got blocked. And uh, then they punched another one in. But it was a very good football game. Mm -hmm. Very hard nose. Uh, they're really fast. Mm -hmm. Really fast. Like I said, not a lot of size. They're, just, they're young guys. They play hard and just run to the football. Uh, well, that, that's one of the things I was going to sort of close with was they're, you're always going to get a hard nose game when you play them. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, win, lose, or draw, they're going to be – they're going to be punchy the whole wow. game. Um, now, coming up, uh, you know, we mentioned the JV. What, what, when is the JV season? JV finally gets to play next Thursday at Johnson County. Mm -hmm. Our first five games are, will be on the road. 
um, with JV, and then our last two will be at home. Um, but we finally get to, they finally get to strap it up. It just seems like it's, seems like we should have already played a game. But, you know, this whole schedule's got things weird because the way our bye week's laid out, because we scrimmage, we're off, we play a game, I, you're, you're, you're off, and then you play a game. It's just, you know, it's been a weird schedule, and it's made it feel really weird for the JV, and I know that, I know they're ready to play somebody else. Yeah. And I'm excited to see them get out there. All right. Well, folks, uh, another thing, keep in mind, uh, one of the things that happened because of our uh, football game having to be moved to Thursday, that forced our softball team to have to move a game to Friday. So this Friday we'll have a softball game um, here at home. Uh, and if I'm not mistaken, and a kid could be, you know, uh, I'm gonna blame it on, you know, Snellity kicking in, but I think it's against Jenkins County here okay. at home. So, uh, no, excuse me, Blackley, oh. Blackley at home. Uh, but uh, again, come on out, support all of these fall sports. I know the kids will appreciate it. Uh, certainly makes it a lot easier for them to to stay up when you got fans in the stands cheering them on uh again game time uh is seven o'clock thursday thursday okay and so be sure and you know don't think oh well it, it's eight or seven thirty you're gonna miss half the game you yeah. know so uh make sure uh you're here loud and proud thursday uh in the stands here at falcon field and it's the dog days of summer are here and Wayne Kemp's Dublin Auto Sales has a hot deal for you. Now's the time to buy the quality pre-owned car, truck, or SUV you've been waiting on. Come see TJ, Trey, Allen, or Britt at Wayne Kemp's Dublin Auto Sales and save during the dog days of summer. Dublin Auto Sales, where good deals and good people meet. First Lawrence Bank invites you to experience banking at its best. Whether you have personal or business needs, we're a full service bank big enough to handle all of your banking needs and small enough to provide you with that personal touch you've grown to expect from a community bank like First Lawrence Bank. Looking forward to your future, that's First Lawrence Bank in Dublin and Dexter, member FDIC. My name is uh, Phil Patel. I am one of the part owners here and the general manager here at the Hampton Inn & Suites. First time when I got introduced to Morris Bank, the people were so friendly and helpful. You feel like that you are appreciated there. At Morris Bank, everybody down at the bank is so friendly, and not just to myself, they're just friendly to everybody. They want us to succeed because our success is their success at the same time. That makes a lot of difference, and they're always there for us.